Hey everyone, it's Amy from Three Girls in a Kiln. In this video, I'm gonna do a tutorial for you on one of our projects from our adult art bags that we have available on our Etsy site. If you'd like to purchase one, you can go to etsy.com slash shop slash Three Girls in a Kiln. It's part of our Make and Take series, especially during uh, these quarantine times, or if you just need a project to take home, get a little stress out, if you're homeschooling, we have some really great projects that we wanna show you. Today, we're going to go over the plaque, our home plaque, which is ceramic, and what's inside the bag. So if you have your bag, go ahead and take it out and let's look at all the fun things that we have. We've got our ceramic plaque here. This is from Bisque Imports. It is the home tile plaque. I love it because home is recessed into this faux wood texture, which is gonna leave us for a lot of fun projects. It also comes with a bag of beads and wire, which I will show you how to attach to the plaque when it's all dry. In your bag, you're also gonna have paint, a color mixing sheet, and some paint brushes. I've already mixed my colors, so if you wanna pause this video and practice your color technique and mixing your paints and getting the colors that you would like for the project, you could go ahead and do that at this time. I also suggest having a water pot and some paper towels with you. That way you don't have to get up. And if you have more than one paintbrush at home, go ahead and grab those paintbrushes. I find that having a paintbrush per color is really helpful, but it's not necessary for this tutorial. Great, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay all these things out and then we're gonna get started.
how did it come out? I am um, really happy with how the colors came out on this ceramic piece. I do want you to note that the paint does come out matte. So if you are interested in a high gloss shine similar to what you would find if you used glaze uh, and fired it in a kiln, you can just get some clear Mod Podge, you can get a clear lacquer, you can spray it with clear paint, spray paint, anything that will make this baby shine, okay? I also wanted to know, something I forgot to mention earlier, is that the cutout Grand Cayman is a vinyl that comes with all of the kits, but you don't necessarily have to use it. You can use your own sticker, you can write a family name in there, it is completely up to you. And additionally, you could also write your family name here at the bottom if you wanted to. So um, you saw how I strung the beads onto the wire just like this. Oh, it's like a little headband, that's kind of cute. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and add them. Now I will say you may wanna just bend the end of the one side while you're working uh, with the other side so that your beads don't come off. Um, lesson learned, I'll tell you that. So I like to uh, put the string through the back, coming out the front, and then I just fold it. Now if you have some wire uh, cutters or pliers, you may wanna use those um, if you don't feel like your hand strength is strong enough. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of twirl that around, let it sit down like that. Oops. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. And it's up to you how long you want it. This is a good time to kind of decide Maybe there, that looks like a nice length. I would say that is about two and a half inches on the arc. Um, it makes your beads a little looser, so if you want to pull them tighter, you can. I would say now it's about two inches on the arc. Then you can just kind of make a nice curve. Again, if you have wire cutters, this will come in handy. Look at that. And then you're ready to hang. That's fun. That's cute. I love that. Don't forget to sign your name on the back. Maybe for the year. Quarantine 2020. Completely up to you. Um, but yeah, that's our home pot. Really excited about that. So if you would like to make this project or any other project that we have available on our website, go on head on over to our Etsy shop. You can find us on Facebook or Instagram at three girls in a kiln, all one word, the number three. Um, really happy to hang out with you guys today. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying sane and mentally well during this time. Remember that arts and crafts and music are great ways um, to do that. So. Until next time with our fun project, this is Amy from Three Girls in a Kiln and we'll check you later.